I'm Tom Baxter and I'm going to be taking you through some killer intervals today. What is this workout going to be? We're going to be hitting this five minutes and then going straight into 10 rounds of 30 second sprints. So max effort sprints with some good resistance and 30 seconds recovery. So I want you right back to kind of where you are now, taking the recovery nice and easy, deep breaths, light resistance on the bike. 10 rounds, we then have a one minute recovery after that 10th sprint, and you're gonna feel pretty bad. I hope that you push yourself, and uh, you know, feel, feeling like maybe you're at a nine, nine on that off the scale at the end of those 10 rounds. Taking a minute, and then we're going into three rounds of 90 seconds on. Obviously not sprinting, more of a you know, three and a half to four um, on my color zones, or a seven on the RPE scale, pushing yourself, and then 90 seconds recovery. So three rounds of 90, 90, and finish up with a cool down at the end there. So good little variation of hitting different systems, if you like, really trying to challenge your body. Hitting the sprints out first and then really challenging our muscular endurance uh, and, and strength to finish there. So we've got two minutes left on our warm up, guys. Keeping it going. Let's get our lights on. Good, always checking in with your body position. I'll just bring this into a steady light for now. I'm always thinking, are ah, my shoulders relaxed? Is my posture fairly good? Belly button slightly drawn towards the spine, feeling like you're one with the seat. And then from here, it's legs. It's not just pushing motion. We also want to make sure we're getting that kind of pulling motion through the hamstrings, the calves. We're keeping a nice, smooth, steady cycle. So one minute 15 left on the clock for four hour intervals. I've increased my pace just a little bit, getting ready for this last minute on the warm up for a warm up before we get into our sprints, just up in my RPM to about 90. Good, 
Go Liz, can you push through that 30 seconds? What you're really gunning for it. Imagine that you're using every last few rounds to finish that race. Stay ahead of your timing. Five seconds here. Start to build a bit more resistance. Increase leg speed. Let's go guys, let's go! Stay consistent, don't worry if you're not at my speed. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and easy it back. Woo! Good job. Wait, two seconds to cover, deep breath. Good. Good, we're starting to sweat now. 
Use the breath. Can we get that heart rate return getting better and better? This is, this is exactly the workout to do so. Satisfaction. Satisfaction. Great test of your cardiovascular endurance when you can recover on these short intervals. Round number eight, guys. Ready, set, light it up. Come on. Get in that red zone. Or bring yourself up to maybe eight or nine on that half E scale. Sprint it, guys. Come on. I'm up at 140. 10 seconds.
feel heavy, you're gonna feel tired. Push it guys, come on. 20 seconds remaining. If I'm going, you can. I ran two classes last night. <laughs> you got this. 10 seconds. And dial it down. Excellent. Well done. One minute 30 recovery. It's going to need that bit longer. You'll notice heart rate's probably going to feel more elevated here. Calm the mind. Deep breaths. Those of you looking to really push yourself, try to get out of that zone so one. Keep in a little bit of tension on there. seconds and then we're going to round two. All right. You guys are doing incredible work. Not too long left. So that's where you have to just dig in and go hard. 35 seconds. Keeping those legs moving, guys. Get your mind on this next interval. You probably saw your watts. You probably know your speed. I want you to try and get back there again. Stay with it. 15 seconds. Five, four, three. I'm increasing resistance. I'm building speed. Round number two. 90 seconds. I'm going to try and get this up to 110 consistently RPMs now. Smooth but strong. Smooth is strong.
down. One minute left. Then I'll cool down. You should be feeling it now. I want you pushing yourself. Remember that I'll be in one at nine right now. Let's drive it. 35 seconds. Both cardiovascular and leg strength, cardio wise, and muscular endurance wise, is going to be fun. That's an efficient interval based workout for you. 30 seconds, you want to be done. 15 seconds left. 30 minutes, I'm in. I'm going to burn it. You can tell I'm burning. Seven seconds. Ah. Good. Well done. Resistance off. Let's coast the legs a bit. Maintain just a touch of resistance. Slow our leg speed. Awesome job, guys. I know how you feel. Yes. And there you have it. That's your three rounds of 90 seconds. Now we need to do that five minute cool down. It's very important to take your time with the cool downs. Helping that Venus return, especially after those big workouts, challenging workouts that are stressed the system. We want to help reduce the blood flow in the lower body. We want to help rid some of that lactic acid. Deep breaths, enjoy the music, relax and it. I generally like to phase down my speed a little bit throughout that warm up, so I'm going to drop a little bit. Down to 90. Look at that, it's already a minute and a half done of our cool down. We've got another three and a half minutes essentially for the five minute total. Cool down there. Slow them down a touch more, just kind of have a tick over. Maybe even drop. 
drop the resistance down. Set the tool. Yeah.